Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in. Today we're starting to work on this amazing engine, M103 3.0 liter, amazing German engineered engine. So uh, main thing is actually what happened is my EHA valve started leaking like externally basically, not from the O-rings, but just like kind of like how sometimes they feel. This is an original EHA valve from this car and it just literally started leaking unfortunately so i have a good used one in my stash i'm going to replace it with that and we'll see how it runs uh other than that yeah uh, such an amazing machine almost done uh you know making this car amazing and uh, it will be ready for a new home very soon all right so a quick story is this is the eha valve that started leaking and it's crazy because it started leaking during that day when i actually drove all the way to bellingham to do my uh basically a state patrol inspection of this car because i got this car from the junkyard so they had to inspect it but long story short i went there and it's crazy i started to smell like fuel and then i pulled up literally and i saw that eha valve was just like kind of like drip 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 you know and i was like dang that's crazy you know what am i gonna do so i had the silicone uh sealant and i put silicone sealant so it did work for a while but now it's still like there's you know the fuel is doing its own thing and it's it's actually like leaking uh again from there so i have a good used eha valve right here that i'm gonna install on this car and we'll see how she does and um i have the air cleaner out as you can see i'm gonna start cleaning everything right here guys making it amazing So first, we're gonna remove the EHA valve connector over there. That's out of the way. And sometimes these two screws, they can be either Torx or regular flat. In my case, it was T25 Torx. And I already loosened them. Just gonna take it all out. So, yeah, I did seal this EHA valve from the outside, but, you know, just be careful. When I was doing it, I was kind of trying to be careful and not to introduce any sealant into the actual stuff, the other, the area. I kind of went full send on it, as you can see, <laughs> but it still didn't help. It's crazy, guys. All right, so I got two brand new O-rings I'm gonna install and I cleaned up the area already for the HA valve and uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and install that. A few moments later. Hey guys, welcome back to Vita's Garage. Today we're changing six spark plugs on this amazing machine. I'm changing them because just as a permanent maintenance because I noticed that uh, the spark plugs installed on this car are auto light which are complete trash so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna install these NGK spark plugs these are the ones that were available I wanted to get the Bosch ones but these are also pretty good they're copper NGK made in Japan so I'm gonna install them they're already pre-gapped to 0 0.03 something like that but uh, yeah that's within uh, factory spec so I'm gonna install these I have six of them and let's get to it, it's pretty easy. All right, so we got these guys. Simply start pulling spark plug wire one by one, just kind of carefully, don't just, don't pull on this blue part. I'm gonna just pull on the actual metal, try to pull on the metal so that way you don't break anything. All right, and then we got our socket. And obviously I could check the uh, engine compression at the same time, but the engine is perfect. There's no compression issues or any of that sort. So I'm not gonna even do that. I already loosened this spark plug and I'm gonna pull it out. And you will see what I'm talking about. This one is actually, this is what it looks like. Uh, it's got some fuel in it because I'm currently also having a no start situation on this car. Um, and there's a little bit of backfiring and I already replaced the EHA valve because the other one was leaking and but it was running with the leaky EHA valve so something just came up something on the ignition side usually when you have some backfiring it's gonna cause 
uh, a no start usually and it's gonna be kind of like some backfiring and stuff like that so when i pulled these out first and they were kind of they, they had fuel on them all right so but as you can see this is auto light i don't like it i'm gonna throw these things away and install normal spark plugs all right so there's the ngk spark plug put some copper paste on the threads all right and uh yeah it's made in japan so i'm gonna install all six of them be really careful installing the spark plug don't drop it and when you tighten it it doesn't have to be crazy tight you know just do it snug all right so i'm just gonna grab that and just do it snug That's it, that's all you need. And really just reinstall your spark plug wire. That's it, move on to the next one. I'm gonna take all of these off. Also, auto light junk. All right, and here's the last spark plug, cylinder six. Cool. All right, so here are those six trash spark plugs. Yeah. I don't know, this company needs to go out of business. It's trash. Yeah, so definitely have a feeling that the problem is with either the shiver cap or ignition coil. Even though I checked and I was getting spark uh, from one of these wires. So I'm going to have to open up some more. But HA valve is not leaking anymore. So that's good. I installed a good use the HA valve on this thing. Okay. We don't have any more fuel leaks. So that's good. All right, late night, and I started removing this. It's crazy because this valve cover has never been, well, maybe it's been off before, but the gasket is original on it. It's never been replaced. That's crazy. I can't believe it. All these hoses are super hard. Also, the ones that go to the idle control valve, I'll probably be replacing those, but now I took off this. Here's, the, here's why this car is not starting. All right, take a look at the oxidation and everything that's pretty insane and there's oil too let's see no it's actually moisture moisture but it could also be leaking oil from the front crankshaft seal so i or also ordered a front crankshaft seal and i'll be changing that so there's a lot of work we have to do all right I have to clean everything make it all nice and amazing again Look at all this moisture in here. And literally every contact is just oxidized. Wow, that is insane. Craziness. Well, in the meantime, also replace this guy. 
and I'll probably replace the front crank seal. So yeah, we're gonna be pretty busy on this bad boy. And also clean all this area here, make it nice. All right, guys, so it's actually late, but it's a couple days later. I got a brand new uh, cap I'm going to install. And this is actually, I got it from O'Reilly, and this is the only one they had. So I'm going to install that. And I'm actually really happy because this is not Chinese. It's actually made in Italy. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but this is made in Italy. And uh, so this is not some Chinese garbage. And it's really nice because the, uh, all of these, as you know, this is six cylinders. So all of the cylinders are marked right there. It's gonna be easy to install it yeah also going back to the moisture issue okay so the moisture issue usually happens because there's not enough uh things cut off right here so if you, if you can see these are the cutouts so it's actually a good idea to cut into this portion as well just kind of make cuts i'm not going to do anything right now but it's just a good idea and prevents the moisture and corrosion actually because this can breathe because as you can see the old one is just kind of bad let's see but if you cut into this i mean it's gonna yeah and as you can see it was all the tracking right there yeah so uh good idea to replace the rotor this one looks pretty good i'm just gonna sand it a little bit and leave it as is and i was initially thinking of replacing the camshaft seal but it's fine i just want to get this car back on the road and you know running again so i'm going to clean some more of this replace install a new distributor cap and yeah i'm going to try to start it later on all right so i got this out i'm going to clean everything here and disconnect this old distributor cap good idea to clean everything which i'm going to do also good advice disconnect the wires while this is still installed otherwise you're going to be fighting all right, so I'm currently installing a new distributor on. I'm just really tired tonight, so I don't know what I'm doing. Also decided to install a new um, rotor. It's going to go right on there. It's a lot warmer today, no smoke. Still cold? 